I'm joined by Dr. Blair Davison of St. Pat's for another edition of Morning Rounds. Thanks for waking up with us today. Well, thanks for having me. Today, we are talking about diet soda. I see so many people just drinking the diet soda, <laughs> right. pretty right. much addicted to it. Are diet sodas, diet drinks, part of a healthy diet? Well, probably not. Um, they're appropriate for individuals who can't have concentrated sugar, like individuals who have diabetes, uh, particularly insulin-dependent diabetes, but they use artificial sweeteners like uh, aspartame, uh, sucralose, and saccharin are the most common ones, and they have no nutritional value. Do they help with weight loss? Um, no, not usually. So this is the big surprise to a lot of people. Actually, those individuals who consume diet soda regularly and in quantity are typically heavier and have bigger abdominal girths than those of us who do not use diet soda. And does diet soda, that's kind of a rumor you see around, do they cause cancer? Um, no, they don't cause cancer. That's, that, there's no evidence to support that. Um, but what they do do is they make you hungrier mm. because the artificial sweetness is a prompt to us to eat. So when we have sweet things, we want more sweet things. So it's kind of this unfortunate sabotage because artificial sweeteners are actually sweeter in our um, palates mm -hmm. than regular sugar or corn syrup. What are some other health-related issues to diet soda? Yeah, so now it should be said that these are associations, okay. but they're important associations. So generally, um, people who consume diet soda frequently can have problems with osteoporosis, so bone weakening. The citric acid really is horrible for your dental enamel. Mm -hmm. Also, the combination of the artificial sweetener and the carbonation can contribute to abdominal bloat. And as I mentioned, if you look at people who consume more than two diet sodas a day, their abdominal girth over a decade is 500% increased versus those wow. who don't. So pretty staggering data that says diet soda is not your friend. So for those trying to lose weight, what beverage is good for dieting? Yeah, so actually, I mean water, you can't right. beat water. No. Missoula has excellent, delicious water. Um, then things like black coffee, black tea, but you also might be better served by having skim milk, even chocolate skim milk, or if you really just are craving that carbonation, a regular soda very infrequently is not going to tank your diet. All right. Well, thanks for some of those tips this morning. If you have any questions you'd like us to answer, you can email them right to us, morningrounds at kpax.com.